Yeah, I think yes. It's something we'll do more uh, a little bit later. Uh, so before we'll apply the materials here, uh, we'll apply a checker there. So I'll apply it to this checker to see if uh, the UV map and everything is uh, good. So I will choose multi sub object. If you remember, we were cutting the sword, the shield, and the javelin to more objects. Uh, after applying the materials, so uh, here I will just put just the checkers. I will use all four slots, okay, and apply to my sword. Now here I will turn this on, and we'll see. <coughs> now uh, you can see that uh, it's not so good how it should be because. Uh, because it's divided in more uh, objects, should be the checkers should be different here and different here. So we'll fix this. Actually, we can apply this to all materials which we have. I uh, mean models also here, here, and also here. First, uh, first we will fix this and then apply the materials and do the lightning. So I check the sword. Uh, let's go to poly select. Now let's start with the first. So select ID1. Let's go to UV map, and it's already changed a little bit. Let's try box. Yeah, box is looking better, but it's still too big uh, for our model. So let's try a different, different. It's too big, so let's try to make it uh, smaller. Probably doing it the reverse. So. Yeah, this is a little bit better, but it's still a better line. So probably box is not uh, not the best for this. Uh, let's try something else. No. We just need to find the best settings, uh, and it should be looking fine. Yeah, actually, this is okay. This is looking better than that before. So I will use these settings here for this, and I need to do this for all. All. So uh, I will again check your pose select, uh, select the second, and again apply an UV map. So now it's a little bit better because uh, the checker is here twice, but probably it can be let's say like this. And actually, we can uh, leave the box there. Now this is uh, better. Now again to the third material there. So I need to do this for all uh, objects which I selected before uh, in editable poly. So this should be the last one. <coughs> Maybe it's not uh, the reason to do this because uh, we anyway using uh, metal material here, but just to make everything fine and looking, uh, I want to change everything here. So I'm thinking now, yeah, I think there is fault material there. So poly select again. And the last one. Yep. Now I will do this uh, just on this sort. I will keep this default, and you will see uh, later the difference. Uh, really nice, nice to show you uh, the difference there. So I will change just this. So. Yeah, this is looking much better than this one. Now let's go to the shield. Uh, I think here was just three materials, so we'll see anyway. And after we'll do the lightning. Uh, by the way, I will not do the lightning like before that uh, I was using just standard lights. I will uh, now use the mental uh, mental array uh, lights, which are uh, better. They're simulating better the physics, so it should be looking uh, much better now. So again, I will choose a box and just make this. 
okay here we can go like by five and I will change everything here to five <coughs> yeah and it's much better now you can see that it's uh, now the UV map is fitting the model and the this is the reason why uh, we're doing that now why I'm using just the checker is uh, that is the best to uh, see uh, what is wrong and what's not so Okay, I will use also for this box and apply 5 here. <coughs> and here was just 3, so the last one, and we are done. Now, if, uh, if I will not do that, uh, probably the model will be looking strange, a little bit of textures, and the render will be 